Hi, it's David, and I'm here to do a review on Adobe Premiere Elements um, 10 for Mac. So here it's booting up now. File new project. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And no later. Okay, so here we have your playing, viewing window, whatever you want to call it. Here's where you can get media. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little cold. Um, like input your media, like get it from your files or you can get it from whatever I'm not sure how to do any of this yet but all I know is you just go into whatever your computer and then your disk whatever disk you have plugged into your disk drive um so yeah and this is where it pops up once you get it <laughs> And here you have some effects, like if you want your movie to be smoother, like smoother, better quality. And you have some video effects here. Like I use them. Um, I use... like a drop shadow so that it's a pretty cool effect and um, translations or transitions um, I usually use a dissolve or something like that because it makes it go smoother and here you can create um, titles up here like for credits or not you can for roll it's the credits that go up and down and for the still it's just something that's down in the bottom corner or something like that and I'm not sure what crawl is I haven't tested with that yet so and you can also you also have a option to do a disk menu like, let me see if you can create one. I haven't tried this yet. This. Um, I don't think so. I don't see anywhere you can create one. But anyway, this is like where you normally have your disk. Where... where you have your main menu and you hit play and then at the end you have your rolling credits or whatever share I haven't played around with any of these yet because I haven't done a video yet um, you can export them to your computer like export them so that um, iPods and iPads can view them. Tape um, online disk so you can burn it to disk or Blu ray. And AV, AVCHD disks, which I have no idea. Is. Um, web DVD. Yeah, for viewing online and PC, it probably just has like a link to the online page or something like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, here you can have this bottom set as timeline, which I like, or sc um, screen line. Um, this is where you just drag any clip down from up there and drag it in there and then push the put a transition 
and then the narration or soundtrack. I think that's all you can do in here. Um, um, this is how to cut, like, when you're in your timeline and you want to, like, you're playing it and you're playing it and then you want to cut right there, like, and you miss it a little bit, then you can move this around and then you hit this clip and then it splices it down here and then you, if it's close to the end then you can just click out and click in and then hit delete or you can move the clip the thing over a little bit more until you have what you clip or until you have within the two things the clip that you want to take out and then you clip that and then you click on it and hit delete click on if you have any audio then click delete and so yeah it's kind of everything um like if you have a video and you don't want audio hit clip or hit um yeah hit clip and then all these will be highlighted highlighted and then hit well first highlight the video first and then go to time or clip and then hit link well it won't say link it'll say on link audio and video and then once you do that then you click out of the video that you have here and then you um, click back on the audio and hit delete so then it's only the video playing it's no audio next time